Harmony Sapphire, also known as Wish You Knew, is a TikToker from the United States. At first glance, Harmony's channel looks regular enough. She does mukbangs, goes on walks, makes TikToks at work. But if you do even a minuscule amount of digging, you will discover a number of things that are glaringly wrong with the situation. First being that Harmony, without a doubt, is convinced that Prince, the singer, is still alive. Not only is Prince still alive, but he and Harmony are engaged. She wholeheartedly believes this, even getting angry at commenters whenever they say that Prince died years ago. Can all these children under the age of 18 who weren't even around in 2004 stop commenting with their opinions and theories and assumptions? Please never say those words again. The short answer to that is never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never, 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 never. First of all, your opinion is not a fact. Second of all, I personally knew Prince. Third of all, we were engaged. Fourth of all, I had amnesia because he drugged my water and I fell and hit my head in 2000. In Harmony's mind, her and Prince had a very long and loving relationship until 2004 when he faked his death and drugged her water with some kind of amnesia medicine. This is how she excuses having no memories of her previous life with Prince. As I'm sure you've been able to gather already, Harmony's pretty crazy. She's been refusing treatment for a long time, and the whole situation gets ten times worse when you realize that she has a daughter living with her. Her name is Ariel, she's 22, and it seems like she has some kind of speech impediment slash learning disorder. The sad part about it is Harmony refuses to get her any help even taking her out of school at one point, claiming she didn't like what the people were teaching her. You see, Harmony and Ariel live out of hotel rooms, and it seems like all day and night, Ariel is kept in that hotel room, not even being allowed to get a job or have friends. Harmony claims that no one needs friends, and all they need is each other. Like I said before, I've only heard the girl speak a couple words at a time, so we very rarely know what she's truly feeling. And this of course has caused people in the comments to become concerned, which led to this clip, where Harmony asks Ariel point blank if she felt like she was being held hostage. Ariel, are you a hostage? Can you answer yes or no? Are you a hostage? No. Can you say it louder? Use your loud voice. Do you guys see what I mean by her responses being real short and quiet? Most of the times she'll respond to what you're saying with just a smile and a giggle, but it still seems like with a little bit of help all these problems that she's facing can be fixed. And it's quite sad because Ariel seems frustrated with her current situation. She just seems generally depressed. And I feel like getting her some help or a job or some friends would help with all of this exponentially. And I really think that Harmony preventing Ariel from going out and living her life has led Ariel to have a little bit of spite for Harmony. What did you call me? Ariel? Ariel, why are you calling me that? Ariel? Ariel? Say it to the camera. Do you want to hear what she just called me? Uh, I am not, okay. Say it to the camera. What, what did you call me, Ariel? She just called me a skank. And these type of comments are a two-way street. There have been numerous live streams where Harmony has yelled at Ariel for basically no reason. Like this clip I'm about to show you, where Harmony gets mad at Ariel for turning down the AC in a hotel room where they don't even charge you for electricity. I'm 60? What is it? No, it, I said only either have it on 69 or 70. You must have been freezing your behind off all day. 60 degrees, I text you 69 degrees, not 60 degrees. Yeah, we're not doing by ourselves. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, it's like Antarctica up in here. 
Uh, she had the AC on 60 degrees. I've only been here for like, what, 20 minutes? Oh my god. <laughs> While Harmony was at work, Ariel of course was stuck in the hotel room all day, so she turned the AC down, she's always got her hoodie on. Harmony likes to micromanage Ariel so much that she tells her what temperature she can set the AC on. And if Ariel ever oversteps her bounds, this is the kind of treatment that she gets. And it's sad to say, but it seems like this is something she's been dealing with her whole life. Because for a while there, Harmony's mom had seized custody of Ariel from Harmony. And from what I've been able to gather, she was just as insane as her daughter. If not more so, because Harmony would release a video of Ariel's old living conditions when she went to pick her up after custody had finally been restored. And the footage that Harmony captured of Ariel's old living conditions was shocking. Ariel, are you ready? How many people do you know this living room looks like this? It violates community guidelines. Wow, so that's all, all that banging noise was. How many people do you know whose bathroom looks like this? All that shit's definitely gonna clog the drain. There's no medicine cabinet, there's no sink, there's no toilet. The state of the house is absolutely abysmal, and Ariel was living there for quite some time. So as crazy as it may sound, it's better for her to be living with Harmony than there. Even though, as I stated before, Harmony is quite insane in her own right. And for years now, she has been making these little videos describing some of the things that have happened to her. Now, Harmony's grasp of reality is very loose, so I don't know which of these are true. But after watching all of them, I'd say it's pretty safe to say she's had a very traumatic life. I sold my plasma today at the plasma clinic and I think I had a stroke and fainted and almost died and fainted twice and my left arm went numb and then I couldn't hear anything and I passed out and I was scared. One of my ex who tried to kill me and strangle me to death in 2010 was the Sagittarius which I referred to him by his zodiac sign instead of his name since my mom Audrey likes filing restraining orders against people so much. Well, I don't date people, so I don't usually go by Zodiac sign. My mom's a Scorpio. She filed a restraining order against my ex. She stole my daughter from me for 11 years and divorced my dad when I was 10 and tried to suffocate me. Thank you for the money for the donuts. I'm about to call the cops and some neighbor harassing me and accusing me of doing drugs. You mean a psychological evaluation? No need. I'm perfectly sane. Why would anyone have any doubts? Prince, come out and play in the sunshine. Harmony's here. Prince, where are you, Prince? We're at your mansion. Personally, I have no idea why anybody would want this woman to have a psychological evaluation. She's only calling a dead rock star's name like he's some kind of cat, and then getting mad at your mother for filing a restraining order against your ex who strangled you. Harmony, if by any chance you are watching this, please go and seek mental help. I am literally begging you. Prince is not alive, he's been dead for years, and neither you or your daughter have to live like this. If you get Ariel the help that she needs, help that the government will most likely provide for you, then she could become a contributing member of your household. Bills won't be so tight, everybody will be happier, and you especially, Harmony, will be happier. I have read some of your poetry that's been posted online. I know that some horrible things have happened to you in your past, especially your childhood. And events like that can spur these mental schisms that so many of us have. I don't think you're a bad person. I think that you just need some medical help. And there is absolutely no shame in accepting it. I am almost 100% sure that I will see you down in the comments disputing all of the claims that I have made. Just please, at the very least, consider what I just said. 
please don't only do it for yourself, but also do it for Ariel. And on that note, that's all we have on Harmony Sapphire today, guys. I'm sorry if there is a lack of diversity in clips in this video. Harmony likes to private and unprivate her account a lot, and I was just lucky enough to check it out before it went private the next day. I will try to keep an eye on Harmony and keep you guys updated, but with the frequency of her going private, it's gonna be hard. I want to thank you guys for watching, especially till the end. That helps out the channel so much. A big shout out to all my channel members, my tapists. Thank you guys so much. The channel would not be the same without you guys and all the support. And to whoever's watching this video, I hope that you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever time it is, just go have a good time. And be sure to keep it Kiwi. <coughs> Me, 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 me.